Valley Clare Colts representing the South Belfast League went head to head with Glentoran in round three of the NIBFA under 13 Cup at the dub in Belfast. Glentoran playing in their traditional green colours and Valley Clare in red and white on a cool, crisp morning on the 3G surface. Valley Clare started with real intent in the game. Their captain, Liam Finn, set up a move down the right with David Taylor racing down the wing. And when the Glens could only partially clear the ball, Finn then picked the pass to Callum Adams. But Taylor's ball into the area. Unfortunately for Ballyclare, drifted out for a goal kick. Venturin tested Ballyclare with some slick interplay on six minutes. This excellent Killian McCandless ball found Reese Little, who skipped away from his marker before drawing a save from Dylan Owens. Just moments later, Brendan Hamilton sent this free kick into the box. It was spilled by Owens, and McCandless rattled the post with the follow-up. Hamilton was provider on 10 minutes, his initial free kick blocked, but he sent the loose ball into the Ballyclare box for Reese Little to head home. 1-0 to the Glens, who were beginning to flex their muscle. Reese Walsh then seized upon a poor goal kick to set up Little for a cross. The ball running all the way to the back post where it found Aidan Doherty who flashed this shot over the crossbar. Bally Clare who earlier had penalty claims turned down surged forward through Zach Law after 14 minutes when the ball fell to Callum Adams on the edge of the box. He watched on as his shot came back off the crossbar and the Glens cleared the danger. More neat interplay from Walsh and Jack McCosh almost brought a chance for Jay Harvey. Owens though did well to come out of his area and claim the ball for Ballyclare. Before the first half drew to a close, Little peeled away from Law See Little picking the ball up here with some neat skill initially, but he could only shoot straight at Owens, who was well positioned. The Glens then doubled their lead nine minutes into the second half with Harry Dorman firing into the roof of the Ballyclare net from Doherty's corner. Three minutes later, it was 3-0. A real team goal this one. Jack Hastings and Dorman were initially involved. Little then scampered down the wing and put it on a plate for Jude Johnson to tap home from close range. Oh, Glentorin, they were still not done. With eight minutes left to play, Johnson capitalised on some slack play in midfield, cutting the ball back for Hastings to score. The Glens safely into the next round. Glentoran four, Ballyclare Colts nil. I think uh, I think the boys had to be proud of themselves. Um, the Glens are one of the best teams in the country. Um, for large spells, I thought we played really well and matched them. Um, I thought once it went two 0 the heads probably dropped last 15. We probably kind of looked tired a wee bit and um, the Glens came on strong. But they're a top side, um, we have a lot of good players. Um, but overall, I think we can be proud of ourselves. First half, we had a, I thought we had a stonewall penalty turned down at 0 0. We hit the bar, I think, on another day if they go in, maybe it's a different game. But overall, the best team won on the day. We're unbeaten in the league um, in the South Belfast and we just won a cup there. So we're going really, really well. Um, this is where we want to be. Um, playing these teams every week. I think today shows that the South Belfast teams can compete. There is quality in the league and on our day we can match, match these teams. So it's just it's a good learning curve. You want to play against the best and uh, we'll get our heads down and we'll go again next week. Delighted, absolutely. Cold morning, 
Uh, credit to Ballyclare, Ballyclare play football, so um, we knew what we would have to do. We need, need to be on top of our game and delighted with the performance from the last sub smashing goals out there. So yeah, our subs are equally as good as the starting eleven. So we're not weakening our team when we bring players on. We brought two strikers on, changed their shape, and and they scored goals. So. We, we do tend to, to be strong the whole way through, so happy enough for that, yeah. The positivity around the team is the main thing for me. Positivity, um, four really good goals. Listen, it's a clean sheet as well. You have to give the defenders credit because Ballyclare had chances. So I'll not single out any individuals, but collectively, really, really pleased with them.